here we are, La Jolla, Monday, and it's uh, November, I think it's 29th, anyway. There's a seal over there looking for big food. So we're over the canyon, 1100 feet, 1098. over heading back toward the deeper part again so see how it kind of zigzags back and forth it's heading north and trolling a gnome the small nomad the 100 nomad trying to see if i can see anything while well, i'm looking seeing covering the terrain see that i went out and so i started here first i was looking trolling around for bait through all these birds in this area here but they're just sitting and moving around, but there's nothing. There's no real bait. I mean, there's some marks on their water, but they're not interested in the sabiki or anything. Whatever they all happen to be. There are no, no big clouds, just dispersed bait of some kind. So anyway, I'm heading north towards the back. There's the golf course over there, toy time and so forth. Just hitting slightly that way, looking for bait while trolling. Just to get out today, I figured I don't know fishing's been so slow. I'm not, I'm not really gonna sit there. And, if I happen to find a spot where there might be some rockfish or something, I'll you know try to fish it. But I don't like having to reel in 400, 350 feet of line for a little guy. So just right now, it's just about to enjoy this beautiful weather. November 29, 2021, La Jolla on the Solo Court. I kept, I kept hoping maybe I'd see the dolphins go by, you know, something, something with a, more life. And uh, the birds are the only thing that, at least I was one good thing last trip out here. I didn't find any birds really. Today there's birds, but uh, they're looking, they're looking around. They're not sitting in any one spot. When they were, there wasn't anything really there, so they'd move on. But yeah, we're talking thousands, many thousands of birds. So it's going like, oh, okay, wow, bird life, yay. But it hasn't, you know, turned into them finding the better stuff for me. Yeah, we're just drifting here. Four marks back just outside, or I should say, coast side of the canyon. One of the one of the small pocket-like canyons. Man, it comes up from like 800 feet and it like goes, I don't know, 60 degree angle or something. It's pretty steep. <clears throat> and then it comes up, and next thing you know, and now we're, we're 167, and we keep seeing some marks of uh, near the bottom, sometimes uh, like a bait ball going by, like at 40 feet or something, but nothing. These little birds, I don't know what they're eating, some micro stuff, but I got a sabiki here. I just put it back down again, so it's around 35, 40 feet, so that the next patch goes through. That one is a bucktail, and it's sitting just above. See, going back and up and down with the with the tribe, but it's sitting there bouncing right in that zone near the bottom, within that five feet to ten feet of the bottom. It's going up and down, going up and down. So that <clears throat> anyway, and I had the cold sniper here, ready to drop down too a couple of times, but nothing's happening. Even what looks like marks that should have something, even rockfish, nothing's happening. Just enjoy this. Right, so I was, boy, that bird just go right in. Boom. Little sand dab. Get him out. All right, let him go. Tiny little guy. 156 feet. Go, guy. Go, go, go. There you go. and I saw them breaking the surface farther out so I went out and all of a sudden and then I just shut it off here and I've been sitting here and they just continue covering this whole area and there's there's sparse bait there's nothing really but the... where 
wire gas or something, but yeah, I've been there. It's windy. It's like Hawaii and Florida. Wind dominate and suck, and everything is farther distances and higher prices. So yeah, no. Visit yes, live there no. Hard to beat this. Oh, something. No, oh, that's my bait. My bait tugging. My bait tugging on his line. It's, not, it's trying to give this repaired rod a shot and seeing if it can catch something decent. So far it's brought some mackerels. But a bunch of greenbacks, good sized greenbacks and stuff. But uh, I've used it on the sabiki and stuff and I caught a calico on the sabiki. That was funny. But uh, it hasn't caught anything bigger than a calico. We'll see, it's a chicken stick. It's supposed to hold a lot of weight. That repairs an Allen wrench inside. So, as long as it spreads it out, because I wrapped it so that it won't try to shatter the composite. Theoretically, it should hold it. It should just not flex there, is all. But it, it, so it'll changes the load in that area. will definitely change from what the tip does to all of a sudden a lot more backbone quicker, but it's not that big a deal. It's supposed to be a jigging stick, so it's supposed to flex a whole hell of a lot. So, we'll see. We'll find out when it hooks up something larger, I can pull on it. It's a free rod, hey. I love that rod, That's, I bought it. Can't believe that they didn't have any more left. Broke so many in frickin' transit. Dolphin's still at it in the distance. 